Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Pastor Stephen Cattle, the New Destiny Christian Centre, Kamuli, Uganda. Good afternoon. With a grateful heart, we bless God for this great country of warriors, not only physical warriors, but spiritual warriors who sacrificed their lives to death to bring the gospel to us in Africa. I stand here in this honorable house as a fruit of this great sacrifice and a living testimony that this country's missionaries' work was not in vain. The outstanding impact of this great country is felt in Uganda everywhere. Each time people worship the God of heaven in Uganda, they are worshiping a God introduced to them by the people, the missionaries from this great country. I'm not sure if there is anyone from Uganda who has ever come here to say thank you. But in case there is none, I stand on behalf of the Ugandans to do so right now. Uh, living in the season of global terrorist threat, the devil seeks to create fear between individuals, and yet God also is using people to bring a positive impact into the same countries, which brings us to a point of reflection. For Uganda to change, we had to receive people from Scotland. And for Scotland to experience ongoing transformation, it needs to be ready to receive people of God that God is sending. As Dr. Livingstone came and left the living word and we became the living stones, it is my hope and my prayer that Scotland remains a vibrant example of the living word, Jesus Christ. In Uganda, we have a proverb. I can speak it. It is, Ogudi Zaguba Moyo. Ogudi Zaguba Moyo, which means it takes a good heart to give back. And that is the reason why I'm in Scotland today, because I am a good man with a good heart, and I serve a good God. In this time of reflection, we want to reflect more on our strength than on our weaknesses, to reflect more on our achievements than our losses. Scotland has benefited a lot of people, and it is my prayer that God remains the Christian foundations uh, of this great nation, and Jesus remains a pillar and a savior of every individual in Scotland. I want to apologize that my twin brother, Godfrey Waswa, is not able to be with me today. Unfortunately, he had some unexpected and challenging circumstances back home that made impossible for him to come. However, we look forward to a future opportunity when the twin brothers can bring a double blessing uh, to the Scottish Parliament. God bless you so much, and God bless Scotland. The next item of business is consideration of business motion number 1425.